Hi, I'm Arjun Majumdar, and I'm a senior associate in the Commerce and Technology team at Fox Williams, and I specialise in data protection. Hi, I'm Claire Bowler, an associate also in the CNT team at Fox Williams, and I advise in a range of business matters, including commercial contracts, intellectual property, and data protection. Our team advises on a wide range of data privacy matters in the fintech sector. This includes time-sensitive matters, like a potential data breach, or when a client has received a data access request. But we also help our clients to think long-term and encourage them to address data privacy risks that may lie ahead before they occur. It may not be considered particularly glamorous, but it's vital you get data privacy compliance right. The data protection regulations, in particular the GDPR, are sector agnostic. This means the same rules, which include the very large fines which the regulator can impose for non-compliance, apply to small as well as large businesses across sectors. So it's important to be aware of these laws and how they may apply to you. Secondly, it's good for business. Best practice in data protection drives the right behaviours. It instills confidence and ultimately establishes trust in those who interact with your business. Designing good data privacy compliance early also saves time, stress and fees in the long run. If you're going through a fundraise or sale of the business, this tends to be a good opportunity to ensure your data privacy compliance is in good shape, as it will no doubt come up as part of the due diligence process. Good data protection usually means strong cybersecurity. As you'll probably be aware, there's been a rapid increase in the number of and frequency of cyber attacks and security breaches in the last five or so years. Often the fintech sector involves processing particularly sensitive information, such as customers' banking data, and in large volumes. Hence, there is a significant risk of loss or damage to these individuals if that data were to fall into the wrong hands. This could lead to compensation claims and significant fines, which you'll want to avoid. One of the key principles under the GDPR is to ensure appropriate security of personal data which includes implementing appropriate technical and organisational measures to prevent unauthorised access or loss. Lastly, personal data is everywhere. Personal data is defined under the GDPR as any data that is capable of identifying an individual and which relates to that individual. The definition is interpreted very widely. Yes, it includes obvious types of information such as name, email address and phone number, but less obvious categories such as a person's opinion and even an IP address or certain types of internet cookies or trackers can constitute personal data as well. So you may be sitting on more personal data than you first thought. And don't forget, data privacy compliance means looking after your employees' personal data as well. We recommend that you carry out a data mapping exercise this means ensuring that you have a solid understanding of where and what types of personal data sit within your business. Consider the following questions. What types of personal data are you collecting and how? What do you intend to do with that data? What external businesses, partners or service providers are you sharing that data with? In which countries are they based? In which countries are the servers on which the data is hosted? Who is hosting that data on your behalf? Finally, for how long do you intend to keep that data? and how is it then securely deleted? Having the answers to these questions is just the first step in your data compliance program. While mapping out your data flow does involve some heavy lifting to begin with, it pays dividends in the long term. One of the key principles under the GDPR is transparency. In practice, this means you need to have a clear, accessible privacy policy, which informs your customers about, among other things, what data you collect and what you do with it. You also need to have a lawful basis for each type of data processing activity that you undertake. And you need to clearly state your lawful bases in your privacy policy. Data mapping helps make the exercise of preparing a privacy policy that much easier. Also, data mapping and knowing where your data is makes life a lot easier if you need to comply with a data access request. It is likely that the data mapping process will flag that you are sharing personal data with third parties for example, your suppliers or partners. If you're required to share personal data with a third party, they may be acting as your data processor. You must have in place a contract with all of your data processors, which contain mandatory clauses prescribed by the GDPR. Knowing where these third parties are located is also key. If you're sharing data outside of the UK or EEA, you may need to put in place additional safeguards with the data recipient. Often this involves including further contractual clauses prescribed by the GDPR. Personal data shouldn't be left to gather dust in a drawer. 
The GDPR stipulates that you must not retain personal data for longer than is necessary. In practice, this means having in place a data retention policy, setting out how long each type of data will be held for and why that period is necessary. We've mentioned data requests a few times. These are made by individuals, for example, your end customers, and usually must be responded to within one month of the request being received. Similarly, in the event of a personal data breach where there is a risk to individuals, you are required to report that breach as soon as possible to the data protection regulator. It's vital you have the right procedures and protocols in place to deal with these high pressure situations, so you know what to do should they occur. When it comes to data protection, prevention is better than the cure. We recommend putting in place the necessary measures, policies and procedures to ensure you're well equipped to deal with the risks inherent to the data protection world. 